Hey, what's up guys? Chief Pat here and today bringing you guys a brand new Clash Royale video and today we're going to be gemming some super magical chests inside of Clash Royale and hopefully upgrading our clone spell, which is the newest card inside of the game. Now before each battle I get into today, we're going to open up three super magical chests. Since our clone spell is only level three, we should be able to upgrade it a couple of times as well as my tornadoes and elite barbarians are not maxed out as well. So let's just go ahead and open up some chests, do some upgrades and hopefully be able to dominate inside of some battles. Now we already got a pair of clone spells and seven tornadoes which means we can at least upgrade our tornado spell uh, before we get into the next battle going to super magical chest number two of course we're gonna get tons of gold and tons of cards that we don't really need some of them for donations as we get 523 elite barbarians right there a legendary card which is gonna be the log so I don't really mind as long as we get like one productive card inside of every chest whether it's the tornado whether it's a clone spell some sort of legendary even the elite barbarians one out of every chest would be nice there's nine clone spells right there which is actually gonna be perfect for upgrading those before the next battle as well as one uh, inferno dragon which works out really well and let's go ahead and do those upgrades now checking out our deck our clone spell is only level three so getting it to level four is crucial to bring it to the tournament standard so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade that right now and let's go ahead and head to a battle before we open up our next three super magical chests using this cloned lava hound deck now everyone's been playing the clone lava hound it's just so much fun to play and it's hard for your opponents to counter because it uses so many of their spell cards whether it's the zap or the arrows to break open to the lava hound it's just really tough to deal with so i'm going to go ahead and keep playing it today hopefully we can find some success with it i'm sure you guys have seen a lot of this on the leaderboard if you have let me know what you think about the clone lava hound uh, in the comments section below and how you like to beat it and uh, starting off i honestly have an awkward start normally i want the tombstone uh the Lava Hound, the Mega Minion, and the Clone Spell as the first couple of cards I have inside of my hand. Now, things really are going weird right now. He does have a Miner and a Hog Rider, but I'm just going to go ahead and let my Tombstone do work on that left-hand side. We gave up about 900 damage onto that left-hand tower, but we should be able to do a pretty nasty counter push and hopefully be able to take this right-hand tower out. So Lava Hound's making its way through. Miner's about to go down in a second. Let's go ahead and drop that on the right-hand side. And as he drops all of these support units, that's a perfect lightning spell uh, but unfortunately at the very last second he dropped his barbarian so it's not going to work exactly how we wanted it to so now we have the lava hound we've got our clone spell in our hand what do we want to do do we want to clone our lava hound do we want to uh, defend our tower i'm just gonna go with the archers and the mega minion to defend our tower while the lava hound does work he even has to drop his app spell to make sure that um that his tower doesn't take too much damage and all in all things are looking okay we're actually even as far as hp goes on our towers as far as like my left hand tower and his right hand tower so not the worst start to the game and uh, we do have a way better selection of cards right now the only card that i'm missing is the mega minion the mega minion is just such a strong defensive and offensive card that i wish it was in my rotation right now but i did have to use it inside of that last play so let's go ahead and set up with our lava hound get ready for his hog rider and uh, that's why i have the tombstone in my hand so there's the hog rider and there's the lumberjack as well so i'm going to zap both of those down hopefully able to stop them before they do too much work again i do have to drop my mega minion to make sure the hog rider doesn't destroy my tower and now it's just the lava hound by itself so i'm going to go ahead and clone the lava hound in just a moment and that's going to make it so we have a pretty awesome offensive assault we've got that one lava hound that he just zapped which was a huge mistake because now we have 12 lava pups beating down onto his tower as well as our miner that tower is as good as gone and that's what happens when people don't know how to play against the clone spell. He used to zap against my Lava Hound thinking it was a good play, but actually it just made my offensive push that much stronger. And uh, now we have a pretty awesome lead going into the rest of the battle. Now his Hog Rider did run right towards my tower, which isn't the best. It's going to drop down to 326, so that tower might be as good as dead. But as we head into Double Elixir, our deck gets so much stronger. He even used a zap spell right there, so that means we can clone absolutely everything we have in our hand. Look at that double Mega Minion, quadruple Archers, and double lava hound as we drop our miner onto his king tower rushing as fast as possible trying to get that third crown with only six seconds left it looks like we're gonna get pretty close with two seconds one second Oh, I don't even know how we squeezed that out. With like 0.1 seconds left, we ended up pulling that third crown right there. And that was one of the closest three crown battles I've ever had. I don't remember it coming down to the end like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and open up some more super magical chests and to see if we can get some more upgrades done. So more elite barbarians. The elite barbarians are slowly but surely getting there. And they did just receive a buff inside of the most recent bouncing changes that are going live soon. Minor inside of the end of our super magical chest. A lot of our level four legendaries are getting close to being maxed out. Pretty much every legendary but the graveyard is uh, doing really well. 
And as we continue through these chests, Elixir Collector, 23 tornadoes and a princess. Are you serious? We can't do anything with a princess. It just turns into 20,000 gold, but uh, whatever. Let's go ahead and keep opening up those chests. Now, two clone spells. We're not getting a lot of clone spells today. We're getting tornadoes. Um, I guess since it's older than the clone spell, maybe there are wow, 21 more tornadoes. I feel like something in the algorithm makes it so they want to give us more tornadoes. So let's go ahead and upgrade the tornadoes since they're giving us so many of those and upgrade it up to level seven and only one more level to upgrade our tornado up to max. So uh, we'll go ahead and keep collecting those and get that done as soon as possible. But again, I'm focused on the clone spell. I'm not too big on the tornado. It has some really fun interactions. Um, but just isn't the strongest card right now. Let's go ahead and hop into this next battle against Bonri, and look how terrible our starting hand is. We have a Tombstone, which we can play, but look at our hand now. We have the Clone Spell, we have the Zap, we have the Lightning, and we have the Miner. I don't even know what to play right here. We could play the Miner or the Lightning Spell, so I'm just gonna Lightning down as Archers for honestly one of the sadder plays you can make, and now we're at a three Elixir disadvantage. And uh, we're gonna have to hold on to whatever push this guy does right here. So he's gonna have his baby dragon run its way through. And honestly, instead of defending this tombstone, I'm just gonna let this baby dragon get distracted. He's even gonna play a log, which was a waste of two elixir right there. And then uh, now we can go on our cloned lava hound push and hopefully be able to dumpster this tower. All right, so things are good. We've already baited out his mega minion, so that's gonna help us out a lot, depending on what we wanna play next. He's actually gonna drop his golem, so I'm debating on dropping my clone spell. If I was gonna drop the clone, I should have gotten both the mega minion as well as the lava hound, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. We've got both the, both the lava hounds beating down on the tower. Take a look as those 12 lava pups are doing work. He did have a zap spell, so it made it so it didn't do maximum damage, but we still did over half of his tower's HP right there, and the things are looking good going into the rest of the battle. Obviously, this guy's playing the, the golem, so we have to watch out for that with our tombstone. Um, preferably, we'd wait till this golem reaches our side of the map or the bridge before we played our tombstone, but I don't have too much of a play to make. So instead of playing the tombstone off the bat, I'm gonna drop the miner, and that's when he's gonna drop his mega minion. So we'll see what happens as that mega minion makes its way down the lane. Again, I don't like dropping my tombstone before he plays his golem, but I'm sort of forced to right now because I don't wanna make any stupid plays like dropping the mega minion by itself when I really need to use it as a defensive card or as a backup to my lava hound. So I'm gonna go ahead and take, uh, I guess the tombstone dying right there as these skeletons run out into the open and they're gonna get assassinated by that baby dragon. And now it's the baby dragon versus the lava hound as well as our mega minion. And uh, he's gonna play his golem in the very back. So we should be able to make a lot of progress off this push right here whether or not the golem distracts our supporting units i'm gonna go ahead and clone everything we've got two mega minions four archers two law bounds look at all those skeletons i'm gonna zap all those bad boys down at once his golem has already died and split into golemites before it reached our side of the map which is amazing he has his own clone spell check out his clone mega minion right there this guy's actually playing the clone spell deck which is pretty fun to see but we're gonna take out the very first tower of the game right there and it's always fun to see people who are using the clone spell as well because it's just one of the most troll cards inside of the entire game. Now, he's actually getting a pretty good push right here. Look at that clone right there. We have to zap everything of his. That was pretty well played by him to clone that massive skeleton army as well as those archers right there. And uh, he took our tower down to 894. So this means we need to go on a nice push in the left-hand lane. And as soon as our Lava Hound gets to the tower, we're gonna go ahead and clone both the Lava Hound as well as the Miner. Look at all the troops we have over here. In fact, it looks like our, lava, our clone Lava Hound's gonna die. I'm just gonna drop my zap spell because this game is pretty much over and there goes his clone spell and uh, that is going to wrap up the end of a game. So pretty wacky battle, clone spell versus clone spell, but it was fun to play against Banry. Personally, I think the clone spell is better with the Lava Hound, but maybe I'll show you guys the Golem inside of a future video. Uh, but yeah, that is going to do it for that battle. Let's go ahead and head back to the shop and open up some more super magical chests. We've got another one right here, hoping for some clone spells. We're gonna pass 300,000 gold, some more elite barbarians. And of course, every super magical chest has 23 epics. So normally we're gonna get either the tornadoes or uh, some of the clone spells. We're actually gonna get both inside of this chest. So that means we can upgrade our clone spell up to level five off that first one. And uh, these next two chests are just gravy. Now the elite barbarians are making their way there slowly but surely. I wish we got 500 elite barbarians inside of every single chest. We're gonna get the graveyard inside of this super magical chest, uh, which is another card we desperately need to upgrade. Um, and for some reason, we just have the worst luck getting graveyards. I don't know what it is. 10 mega minions to donate with, another 500 elite barbarians, which is super good. And uh, as we wrap this one up, 14 more clone spells, which is perfect, and capping off with an inferno dragon. 
that actually ended up being a pretty awesome chest. So our final upgrade for today is going to be that clone spell that we just talked about up to level five. Uh, of course, we want it to get up to level eight so we can use it at our on our uh, on the ladder on our main level 13 account. But there it is at level five. Our commons will be 10, rares are eight, epics are five. And I think I said our legendaries will get cloned up to level two. Uh, but let's go ahead and hop into one final battle today using this deck against Nino no 07 because it's just such a fun deck to play. Like some decks are just really fun to play, whether it's giant skeleton three musketeer, which used to be like my favorite deck ever. Um, Golem three musketeer. Uh, the graveyard decks are super fun to play. So when funds, when decks are super fun to play, as well as they're super powerful, it ends up being probably one of the best things for the game. And uh, let's just go ahead and defend against Nino 07 before we whip out our cloned Lava Hound. Now he's using the Lumberjack and the, the Hog Rider, which a lot of people have been playing. In fact, his princess locked onto our Mega Minion, which is just a little bit unfortunate. So we're gonna have to drop our archers to kill that princess. We've got the Lava Hound running towards the tower. We can actually use our Miner to kill this Musketeer as well as tank this tower. So watch what happens when the Lava Hound splits. It's gonna go ahead and change change the, uh, the crown tower from attacking uh, the, the lava pups to the miner. And look at all the damage we're doing to the tower. We've got the pups, the archers. Very first push of the game will equal the very first tower. And just like that, we already have such a massive lead. We can start focusing on the other tower. We didn't even need our mega minion for that push. We used our mega minion on defense and uh, unfortunately it got locked onto the princess. And now I'm going to drop my Lava Hound to make sure the princess locks onto the uh, Lava Hound this time because I dropped it in the very center. And let's go on another push with the Lava Hound and the Mega Minion and to see what Nino 07 is going to do to counter us. So I thought he might go on a counter push with the Lumberjack and the Hog Rider. And there it is right there. He did it a little bit later than what I thought. Here come my archers to help out against the Lumberjack as well as the Hog. He's only going to get a couple of hits off against the tower. And meanwhile, on his side of the map, uh, we're actually going to get some decent damage against his tower as well. And uh, we should be able to do a pretty nice little counter push here with the Miner. That's going to be able to tank and let our Archers do damage against his tower. And the Archers actually do a really nice amount of damage. Like, look at the damage we did right there. It was at 1,800 damage. And just with the Archers and Miner, we took it down to 672. So watch out for the Miner Archer counter pushes. And to take a look at this guy's push right here. You know what? I'm not even going to worry about this right now. I'm just going to go ahead and drop my Lava Hound on the right-hand side of the map. This guy's got such a big push over here. I'll just use my Mega Minion to kill the Princess. I'll let him take that tower right there. Uh, just because I know there's no point defending it. Why not just dominate the other side of the map? We've already got it down to 672. Check out my Archer placement. My Archers will help out my Lava Hound after they kill this uh, counter push right here. And even though we took a bunch of King Tower damage, I'm really not that worried at all because we have such a nice counter push with our Lava Hound. We've got the Clone Spell as well and take a look as soon as my mega minion makes its way to the clone spell circle i'm going to clone both of those okay maybe the mega minion is going to die anyways to the princess but that's not the point we're going to take down that second tower of the game we've got a miner onto the princess the miner is going to tank that king tower in just a moment all these lava pups doing work we've got the tower down to 500 200 the game is over and that that is going to do it for our final battle using this crazy lava clone deck guys if you haven't tried it yet i recommend you do if you don't have the lava hound of course I am sad, or the clone spell as well, but you'll make your way there eventually to be able to try this deck out. Who knows if Super Soul nerf it or anything like that, because I haven't seen it at the top of the leaderboard, uh, but that's maybe because people don't have their clone spells maxed out. Oh, who am I kidding? Those people spend like tens of thousands of dollars. They probably have maxed out clone spells. I don't know why it's not at the top of the leaderboard. It seems like a really fun deck to play. Try it out, and let me know what you guys think in the comments of this video. That's going to do it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smack that like button. Really excited for the update coming out soon. Make sure you stay tuned for sneak peeks. Until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.